the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, everybody, glad you're back. How's the thing? Have you checked your fruit today? Have you checked yourself? Have you checked your fruit? How's your love doing? How's your joy? How's your peace doing? Hey, it's a daily process. It's a daily work, a daily walk. But you know what? It's still something that most people want to be around people that has love in their life, love in their heart. Most people want to be around people that have joy in their heart. Well, I, don't, I don't know about you. I don't want to be around somebody that's always angry and bitter and, 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 and feeling miserable. I want to be with somebody that's like, hey, everything's going to be all right. And they want to be able to lift you up and you lift them up. That's what God, I mean, that's what that's what we want in our life. And that's what the Holy Spirit brings. I mean, I don't know. I mean, if you want to be around rude people, if you want to be around bad people, if you want to, then you go do it. But I'm telling you, said I don't want to be around bad people. I don't want to be around rude people. I don't want to be around people that are so high-headed the next thing you know they're gonna try to take my head off. Mm -mm. I want to focus on what God has for me. And you know, one just remind those who don't know the fruits of the spirit. I will go ahead and show you in Galatians 5, 22 and 23. But the fruits of the spirit is love, joy, peace. Long suffering, which is patience, gentleness, goodness, faith, which is faithfulness, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. You ain't going to court for that. Nobody's going to take you to jail for loving, for having joy, for having peace. They, 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 you know, when those cops sit there sometimes and jump all those people and they're sitting there fighting them, you know, they, all they do is giving them that, the enemy, more excuses to bring in more chaos. When we sit there and sit there and say, hey, I'm going to bear fruit. I'm going to stay out of control. I'm going to bear, I'm not going to sit there and argue with you. I'm going to sit there and you give me a ticket. I go by my way. And if, if that don't work, I'm still going to go ahead and keep my peace as the pastor's all understanding. I am not going to fight you. I'm not going to wrestle with you. I ain't got time for that foolishness. All I'm going to do is trust in the Lord. Amen? So the fact is that you, you want to cultivate those fruits in your life daily. It's part of the Christian walk. He said, without me, you can do nothing. And if you don't bear fruit, you're going to be in trouble. I'm just telling you what the scripture says. So we want to cultivate fruit. It's a daily walk. But one of the things we want to talk about is gentleness. I, I don't know about you. Like I said, I don't like to be around rough people that, 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 that basically stay out of control. They sit there and they want to uh, destroy things and destroy everybody that loves them. I don't want to be around those people. I don't want to be around people that are gentle. And I also want to be gentle, amen? Because I think that's, at least that's how I want. And I think most people as well. So it's like here in Psalms 1830, as for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all those that trust in him. For who is God save the Lord? Or who is a rock save our God? It is God that girds me with strength and maketh my way perfect. He maketh my feet like high feet and sets me upon my high places. He teaches my hands to war so that a bow of steel is broken by my arms. Thou has also given me the shield of thy salvation and thy right hand has holding me up and thy gentleness has made me great. Who don't want to be? You want to be great? Let God's gentleness work on you. Thou has enlarged my steps under me. That feet, that feet did not slip. That my feet did not slip. Um, that's being one of the gentleness. God is gentle toward us. He wants us to be, be gentle toward one another. As a matter of fact, every last one of those characteristics is to do that toward the brothers. Show love toward the brother. Show love, joy toward the brother. Show patience toward the brothers. Toward one another. Be gentle to one another. Don't be rude. People don't like that. I'm just telling you, I don't want to be around rude people. That's up to you. All right? 
Say, if I got to go and minister to people, that's another sermon. Minister and lead until they ready to change. But the bottom line is that he wants, most of us want, to be around people that are gentle. Most, hey, look, most of the ladies out there, they want a gentleman. These gentlemen are touched toward them. They don't want no rude man pulling them and shaking them. No kid want to be pulled and shaken all the time. Even you don't want to be pulled and shaken and jerked around by rough and rude people. So when we talk about the, the fruit, the characteristics of the fruit of the spirit dealing with gentleness, is the fact is that we prefer those type of people being alive. And if you want to be around people, that you got to always watch them. going to see if they're going to knock you under the refrigerator. You go ahead and deal with them. But I'm telling you, I want people that's going to bear fruit. And one of the fruits and characteristics I want is to be gentle. Gentle with my spirit, huh? Gentle with how they deal with me. I don't want to sit there and have to be in combat mode every time you deal with somebody. That's time to sit there and say, brother, you need to change. I got to change my, my direction, my path up and be around you. But have you checked your fruit today? Are you gentle? Are you gentle in your relationship? Are you gentle with your children? Are you gentle in life? Amen? Think about it. Have you checked your fruit today? Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. We, you know, just a quick blurb and try to talk about it, but God just wants to bear fruit. So I hope you stay blessed. Have an angel camp around you and trust in the Lord with all your heart and all your soul and all your mind. Amen. Lean not to your own understanding. I'll check you later. Have you checked your fruit today? God bless. Bye bye. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hey, have you checked your fruit today? Have you worked on your fruit today? I'm telling you something. I worked on mine. I'm working on mine. I'm cultivating mine. I'm letting the Holy Spirit work with me because I can't do it on my own. But you know what? I do like the fact is it's best for me to keep on checking and cultivating the fruits of the Spirit in my life. I want to please God, not man. It's easy to please uh, try to please man, but I guarantee you can't sustain pleasing man because you're always going to find, find a situation where conflict arises. But God said, I'll never leave you don't forsake you. Have you checked your fruits today? Those you never heard of that before, let me go ahead and give you a scripture that goes with it. This is in Galatians 5, 22 to 23. It says right here in Galatians 5, 22, but the fruits of the Spirit, and you see that's a capital S, that's the Holy Spirit, is love, joy, peace, long suffering, which is patience, gentleness, goodness, faith, which is faithfulness, meekness, temperance, which is self control against such there's no law. You're not going to be dragged to court and prison for loving somebody, having joy in your heart, having peace in your heart, having patience in your heart, having gentleness in your heart. And then all of a sudden, we're talking about is having goodness in your heart. You know, I like this one. This one is some of the scripture in Psalms 23. Some of you probably can quote that without even reading the scriptures. But I read it. It says, the song of David, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadows of death, I will feel no evil for thou with me. The rod and that staff, they comfort me. Thou prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I'll dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Come on. Goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. And that's what you need. That's what I need. That goodness of the Lord follow me. And I'm supposed to bear those fruits when I deal with other people. Bearing the fruits, showing people the goodness of the Lord. Jesus went around about doing good. We just we should do the same thing. Amen? Have you checked your fruit today? Hey, that was a quick one, wasn't it? But the fact is, that's something we got to work on. Being good. Being good. You know how to be. My mom used to say, God don't like ugliness. You know, the thing about it, you don't want to be show ugliness. You want to show the fruit of the Spirit those characteristics in your life, 
pleasing God, not man. And you'll be impressed. Amen? All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was short, but God bless. It got the point across, right? Have you checked your fruits today? Have you checked your fruits today? My time's not doing it, right? All right. Well, I hope you're in that. We'll see you in the next segment. God bless. Bye-bye.